Hey guys, uh, this is Kyle, and I'm going, what I'm doing today is a school project, and I am, oh, uh, well, I'm, it's for a play that we read in class called The Phantom Tollbooth, so I'm basically going to be acting it out, and, one, one more tree, so, yeah. Uh, so this video is just like a play. It's not like an actual just video of me playing. It's I'm gonna be saying this entire thing up. Let God. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy. And yeah, I'll be getting part of it so I can finish setting this up. Or this is weird. I don't recognize any of this scenery at all. I probably should, should turn off my camera, but whatever. Um. Huh? Welcome to Expectations. Information, predictions, and advice cheerfully offered. Park here and blow horn. Pay no attention to that. <sighs> my, 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 welcome, 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 welcome to the land of expectations, expectations, expectations. We don't get many travel travelers these days. We certainly don't get many travelers. Now what can I do for you? I'm the weatherman. Uh, is this the right road to Dictionopolis? Well, no, well, no, well, no. I don't know of any wrong road to Dictionopolis. So if this road goes to Dictionopolis at all, it must be the right road. If it doesn't, it must be the right road to somewhere else. Because because there are no wrong roads to anywhere. Do you think it will rain? I thought you were the weatherman. Oh, no, I'm the weatherman, not the weatherman. Which... After all, it's more important to know whether there will be weather than what the weather will be. What kind of place is expectations? Good question, good question. Expe expectations is the place you must always go go to before you get to where you are going. Of course, some people never go beyond expectations, but my job is to hurry them along whether they like it or not. Now, what else can I Now, what else can I do for you? Opens his umbrella. No umbrella. I think I can find my own way. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Whether or not you f find your own way, you're bound to find some way. If you happen to find my way, please return it. I lost it years ago. I imagine by now it must be quite rusty. You just say it was going to rain, didn't you? I'm glad you made your own decision. I do so hate to make up my mind about anything, whether it's good or bad, up or down, rain or shine. Expect everything I always say, and the ex unexpected never happens. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh dear! I'd better get out of expectations, but fast. Talking to a guy like that all day would get me nowhere for sure. He tries to speed up, but finds instead that he's slowing down. Oh, oh, now what? He can barely move. Behind my... Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, now what? Now I really am getting nowhere. I hope I... I didn't take a wrong turn. I wonder where I am. Uh, You're in the doldrums. Yes, the doldrums. <sighs> What are the doldrums? The doldrums, my friend, are where nothing ever cha happens and nothing ever changes. Allow me to introduce all of us. We are the Lethargarians at your service. Very pleased to meet you. I think I'm lost. Can you help me? Don't say think. It's against the law. No one's allowed to think of the doldrums. 
Don't you have a rule book? It's local ordinance 175389J. Ordinance 175389J. It shall be unlawful, un illegal, and unethical to think, think of thinking, surmise, presume, reason, meditate, or speculate while in the doldrums. Anyone breaking this law shall be severely punished. That's a ridiculous law. Everybody thinks. We don't. And most of the time, you don't. That's why you were here. You weren't thinking and you weren't paying attention either. People who don't pay attention often get stuck in the doldrums. Face it, most of the time you're just like us. Stop that at once. Laughing is against the law. Don't you have a rule book? It's Local Ordinance 574381W. In the doldrums, laughter is frowned upon and smiling is permitted only on alter alternate Thursdays. Well, if you can't laugh or think, what can you do? Anything as long as it's nothing, and everything as long as it isn't anything. There's lots to do. We have a very busy schedule. At 8 o'clock, we get up and sp spend from 8 to 9 dreaming. From 9 to 9.30, we make take our early mid-morning nap. From 9.30 to 10.30, we dawdle and delay. From 10 to 30 to 11.30, we take our late early morning nap. From 11.30 to 12 o'clock, we bide our time, and then we eat our lunch. From 1 to 2, we linger and loiter. From 2 to 2.30, we take our early afternoon nap. From 2.30 to 3.30, we put off for tomorrow what we could have done today. From 3.30 to 4, 4 o'clock, we take our early late afternoon nap. From 4 to 5, we loaf and lounge until dinner. From 6 to 7, we do the dollar. From 7 to 8, we take our early evening nap. And then for an hour we, before we go to bed, we waste time. Ooh, you see, it's really qu quite strenuous doing nothing all day long. And so once we a week we take a holiday and go nowhere, which is just where we are we're going when you came along. Would you care to join us? That's where I seem to be going anyway. Tell me, does everyone here do nothing? Everything but everyone but the terrible watchdog. He's always sniffing around to see that nobody wastes time. A most unpleasant character. The watchdog? The watchdog! Run! Wake up! Run! Here he comes, the watchdog! What are you doing here? Nothing much, just killing time, you see. Killing time! It's bad enough wasting time without killing it. What are you doing in the doldrums anyway? Don't you have anywhere to go? I think I was on my way to Dixonopolis when I got stuck here. Can you help me? Help you? You've got to help yourself. I said. I suppose you know why you got stuck. I guess I just wasn't thinking. Precisely, precisely. Now you're on your way. I am? Of course. Since you got here by not thinking, it seems reasonable that in order to get out, you must start thinking. Do you mind if I get in? I love autom automobile rides. Well. Talk. You, you, thank you. Um. There we go. Um. Okay. Uh, Alright, I'll try. Are we moving? Oh. Not yet. Think harder. I'm thinking as hard as I can. We'll think just a little harder than that. Come on, you can do it. Alright, alright. I'm thinking while the planets in the solar system, why water expands when it turns to ice, and all the words they begin with Q, and the wheels begin to move. We're moving! We're moving! Keep thinking. How a steam engine works and how to bake a pie and the difference between Fahrenheit and centigrade. Dictionopolis, here we come. Hey, watchdog, are you coming along? Uh, it was this way. Uh, it was this way, yeah. You can call me talk and keep your eyes on the road. What kind of place is Dictionopolis at anyway? You didn't see that. You can't see that. Pay attention. No attention. Hey, Watchdog, are you coming along? Okay. What kind of place is Dixonopolis anyway? It's where all the words in the world come from. It used to be a marvelous place, but ever since Rhyme and Reason left, it hasn't been the same. Rhyme and Reason? The two princesses, they used to settle all the arguments be between their two brothers who rule over. I can still see it. Hello. The land of wisdom. You see, Azaz is the king of Dictionopolis, and the mathematician is the king of D Digitopolis. They almost never see eye to eye on anything. 